So a lot of uh, Microsoft folks here, uh, they all travel from uh, Seattle all the way here. So I'll introduce them because it's a good opportunity for all of you to get in touch with the product engineering team. It's like at least like 10 of them here today uh, during this uh, session. So uh, they will be presenting that the morning session is fully packed with the Microsoft uh, 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 sessions. So you will know exactly what's coming next. And if you have any question, this is the best place to be. And in general, like, you know, if you look at the speaker lineup, it's about 20 speakers here and all like uh, well-known guys in the integration space. Uh, you know, if you can't get an answer from this area, probably you won't get it anywhere else. So make use of the opportunity. So this is me. I think a lot of you might have already known uh, who I am. So my name is uh, Saravana Kumar. I'm the original founder of uh, BizTalk 360. So we have a lot of customers here in the, as an attendees as well. So probably a lot of you might have heard about the product. It's a, basically it's an operation monitoring tool for uh, BizTalk server. Uh, That's my blog link and then uh, my Twitter. So uh, I, won't, I won't spend too much uh, time uh, on this one. Okay, so these are the numbers we just took uh, last night uh, when, while we were sorting out all the batches and stuff. Like uh, we were trying to get some stats out of uh, you know how many attendees and uh, what type of companies are uh, coming to this event. So this is the final count. It's about 335 something. So we had some last last minute registrations. So 330 attendees here, and uh, some of you are, you have attended the, the previous year's events as well. So. I got a slide which shows the progress, what you have made in the last few years. Year after year, this event is getting bigger and bigger. So the, the main reason why we pull this event together is, you know, like uh, most of you might have experienced, you go to, you know, TechEd or Build or something, and you guys are integration guys, and you hardly find any sessions related to integration, right? So the, the whole of TechEd, you will be lucky if you find one BizTalk server session, right? So. So that's really, it was really frustrating for uh, most of the folks out here. So that's the whole idea. We thought, okay, we'll pull an event and exclusively for you know, integration focus in the, in the Microsoft stack. And that's exactly what we had done. So two days it jam packed. And some of the sessions are only half an hour because we couldn't give more time for the speakers more than half an hour. So there's too many speakers and we can't omit any of them. So it's going to be jam packed two days. Uh, so there are about 160 companies here. So that's a really astonishing number. Like you know, 160 different companies from you know 20 countries present here. So you can all you know there are enough breaks in between. You have uh, tea breaks, lunch breaks, and evening drinks and stuff. So it will give a great opportunity for you to uh, you know to talk to each other and see what uh, guys are doing. Uh, you know, you might learn a few stuff by, you know, like you, know, you may never come across a scenario how people are using uh, different products and different solutions. So it's a great opportunity to, for you to mingle and, uh, uh, and, uh, and collaborate and network. And uh, thank you to all of our sponsors, especially Microsoft. So I don't know how many of you read the blog post I've written about organizing C1. So it was such a, it was really massive task for us to financially, uh, and because we are, we are a small team, we have our team members here, uh, for us to pull this event, like, uh, it, it would not be impossible without the sponsors, especially Microsoft. Uh, so they played a major role in uh, pulling this, uh, this together. And also we have other sponsors. They all have a booth in the, in, the, uh, uh, in the food area. So, you know, when you get a chance, you know, you just go uh, speak to them. So they all got different offerings for you. So you, probably some of you might have known already companies like uh, N Software. Uh, you, a lot of you might are using some of their adopters. Quick Learn for training. Akana is a, is a rebranded SOA software. Uh, Codeit International is, a, is from Belgium and Netherlands. And Reply is a, is a old solid soft. A lot of you might have known. Uh, they are based out of UK. So, so th thanks to all of our, uh, all of our sponsors. So this is our speaker uh, lineup. Um, I have a few updates here I will cover up. So this is what we had before uh, until Friday. Uh, so thank you to all the speakers. You know, it's, all, it's, all, it's only two categories there. It's either Microsoft or MVPs. So the, all the speakers are well known in the industry. So uh, I'm, I'm very confident the sessions will be amazing. Uh, so you definitely will take uh, something uh, out of this uh, uh, this, this event. 
Okay, and for, this is important slide for me. You know, thank you to Bistock 360 team. So probably you may not have realized that behind the scene effort. So this is all the work that's been going on since uh, Friday afternoon. Uh, you know, Ricardo is our uh, chief architect. He's, he took a rental van uh, packed with all these banners and uh, bags and batches and uh, all those things. And the whole team uh, was assembled in my house, and uh, we sorted out all those uh, things. Uh, we, we didn't hire an event management company to do this, because you know, like, if you look at it, two days event at the price of 200 pounds is impossible to offer. Like, we wanted to run this more like a community event. So that's why we did all, of, all, all the work ourselves as much as we can. So hiring an event management uh, company would have uh, eased all this work. Uh, but uh, we just wanted to. It's, it's, it's not fully commercial. It's, it's you know, majority, it's a community focused. And then uh, the, the remaining, we just want to pull a good event uh, for this uh, BizTalk and integration community. Uh, the next slide is uh, you know, like, uh, just a very short intro of the 360. Uh, I know most of you know the uh, product by now, uh, but uh, some of you might uh, be wondering, you know, what is this company, Bistock 360, what are they doing here? So the first thing, we are not Microsoft. So just, you know, what to be clear, like uh, sometimes people confuse, but uh, we are not Microsoft, but we work closely. We are very close friends with them, but we are an independent company based out of uh, London, and we build this product. Uh, I don't know whether uh, Mark Ferguson is in this attendees. I haven't seen him during the registration. So I think the journey is basically, I'll just recap very quickly. Like I used to work for uh, Fidelity Investments uh, uh, back in between 2007 to 2011. I was one of the enterprise architects there. And uh, Mark Ferguson, he, Microsoft invited them to come to this event because he's one of the key person on the integration space within Fidelity. So when I saw his name, I thought it would be a really good uh, story to tell uh, before starting. So I used to work as an enterprise architect for Mark, and Mark was my boss. And I went to, one day I went to him and told him, okay, I, you know, I know this is a big problem for business customers. I wanted to build something around it. Uh, and I can't do it working full time, but at the same time, I can't leave the job as well. So he was very understandable, and we went fifth, like uh, part time. So from between 2010 to 2011, I worked part time with Fidelity, like uh, uh, three days uh, with Phil and two days for uh, building Bistock 360. That's how the product has been was been built. Uh, so May 2011 was the first uh, official version. Our first customer was out of Hong Kong, a casino out of Hong Kong, and uh, three three and a half years now. So roughly the journey was very good. So we crossed the 300 customers now. And the team has gone from one guy to 30 employees now, so between uh, uh, UK and, uh, and India. So just a quick uh, recap on you know, like, uh, what's happening with the summit, you know, how the whole st story started. So 2011 was the time, you know, like me and Michael Stephenson, from, uh, we, have, we were MVPs, and we were running this uh, user groups in the evenings. Like in London, we have a, you know, once a quarter or something, we used to run this uh, user groups. And slowly we thought, you know, why can't we extend it to a one day event? And then that's the time when uh, we, five of us, like uh, myself, uh, Nino Crudele from Italy, Sandro from uh, uh, Portugal, Steve John from Netherlands, and Todd from uh, Norway, we thought we will pull together an event, okay? Like, you know, this is a similar thing, but uh, that's, where, that's what our starting point was. So we, we did something called Bistock Innovation Days back in 2012. So we did five events in the year. It's a five one-day events. So we did cover, since we all from different nationality in Nero, we did one per country. So we did one in London, one in Norway, one in uh, Netherlands, Portugal, and Milan in Italy. So that's a 2012 story. And 2013, uh, I told these guys, and, and the, the 2012, the important thing is there's no sponsors, no funding. We put our own money, our own booked our own flights, our own hotels, and all those kind of things. But I feel pity for these guys. You know, they're just taking time off, and then they also, you know, like uh, doing all these things. I told them, okay, let I'll pull this event together, and let's take it to the next level. And that's when Bistock Summit 2013 was launched. So we did Bistock Summit 2013, and then a bunch of innovation days in 2013. So 2014 was a big year for us. So a lot of you might have come to the 2014 event. So it's about 220 people in London, Victoria. 
the Microsoft Office. And then we did an event in Australia as well. So with the help of Mexia, I think a few guys from Mexia are here. So we partnered with Mexia in Australia, and we did three events in, in Australia. So uh, Sydney, Melbourne, and Brisbane. So some of the guys flew there, and some local uh, speakers, and we pulled it. And Integrate 2014 was actually a Microsoft event, and uh, but we were responsible for organizing and running it. So, so that was a huge success back in December. That's about 250 people. And finally, here we are with uh, Summit 2015. Uh, so, so it's getting bigger and bigger, and it's it's really positive news in the sense like you know uh, people are getting more uh, interest in this uh, community, and then there's a lot of things is going on. And I also want to cover you quickly about this integration Monday, so people are aware of this one, right? So this we started beginning this year along with Michael <laughs> Stephenson. Uh, so this is actually a webcast. So we thought, you know, it's a running the local user group is great, but it's not convenient for everybody to travel. And uh, given the global space now and uh, the technology around, it's so easy to organize a, a bigger, uh, like a, to get audience out of everywhere. So we started this integration Mondays. So it's every Monday consistently, 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. UK London time. And we get speakers from all over the place. So we got pe people from product group presented. Uh, and we have like a, a, all the MVPs like Charles and uh, uh, Dan Rosanova. He presented a couple of weeks ago. Nino presented last week. So we got speaker lined up for till October or something. So it's a, it's a consistent every Monday, 7.30 to 8.30 PM. You can, you can dial in. And uh, you can, this is the website. It got more details. Uh, you can go and, go and check it out. Okay. A couple of links, you probably need to take a photo or, a, or write it down. So, you know, if there are any schedule changes during the next two days, we will update this link, uh, Summit 2015 schedule. So that's actually mobile friendly. It's a, it's a third party website to keep all the schedules. So you, that, that will be our main uh, scheduler for this event. So hopefully there won't be too many changes, but if, if an emergency, we need to swap around something. So that will be the place uh, where you can check it out. Uh, the feedback, uh, you know, there are a lot of people they here, so it will be difficult to ask questions to the speakers right after the session, since we are running back-to-back -back, uh, events, back-to-back uh, -back, uh, sessions. So if you have any questions or any feedback you want to give to the product group, because you know there are a lot of new stuff coming, and you may have a lot of questions. So you just, you know, like, uh, you can use those links. And for every session, there is a page. And with a comments link, you can put your comments there. And either uh, the product group or uh, whoever uh, can answer it, we can make it more uh, interactive there. And uh, you, can, you can do it. So if people on Twitter, I know it's, this crowd is not really a uh, Twitter-friendly crowd. Uh, but whoever using Twitter, the hashtag is Bistock Summit uh, 2015. And there's going to be one important change. Keynote will begin at 11 AM. I'll tell you the story behind why we need to swap it. Uh, Josh Twist, uh, he was a guy uh, who was supposed to present the keynote. And uh, due to some medical reasons, uh, Friday, he said he couldn't make it. But uh, luckily, like he, he was able to arrange with his manager, Karandi Ponant, uh, to come and speak as a, uh, as a do the keynote presentation today. But Karan was getting engaged yesterday, Sunday. So, <laughs> so it was a bit of a challenge. And he was very great. Uh, so he finished his engagement, took the flight 7 o'clock in the evening from Seattle. And probably he's flying now. No, no probably he might have landed. He was supposed to land at 7.30. I uh, haven't called him. So he will be here by around 10ish. So we are going to push the keynote to 11 AM and everything else. Because the keynote and the bunch of sessions are associated to the keynote. So all the stuff that's coming on the Azure App, Fabric, App Services stuff all related to keynote and the bunch of sessions. So those on, we will pull it. And uh, we will start with the Dan. So that's actually a gamble. <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, How many of you have seen Dan speaking before? OK. How many of you are non-technical here? OK, that's good. <laughs> OK, Dan actually is coming from the product group. He's, uh, he, if you have worked with service bus, event hubs, and all those uh, queues and topics and those kind of areas, Dan is the man. He might have, you, know, you might be using a bunch of his code, what he has written there. 
So he's uh, quite deep technical. So that, that's why I said it's a bit of a gamble to, you know, for early morning start to pull a deep technical session. But I hope it will be, it will be good. Uh, so Dan will be start straight after this. And I think that's all I have to say. So, you know, enjoy the summit and, you know, great, uh, uh, you know, I just need to thank my team. You know, you, you, everything is going on time. You know, I thought I'll be, we'll be a bit late. Maybe it's not that late, about 10 minutes, but we'll pull, you know, every, all the registrations, everything, and everything went smooth so far. So I think one thing is, you know, from now till, I think, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, it's Microsoft's responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm not responsible for any sessions, whatever is going to happen, and we will take the control back around 3 o'clock. So, <laughs> so I think with this, I will pass it on to Dan. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>